Chevalsky's horse has long been considered the only true wild horse in existence today, never have been domesticated. However, a 2018 DNA study suggested that modern Chevalsky horses may have descended from the domesticated horses of the Bataille culture. Most wild horses today, such as the American Mustang or the Australian Rumby, are actually feral horses descended from domesticated animals that escaped and adapted to life in the wild. When researchers tested their DNA and compared it to the bones of ancient horses, they found the Chevalskys were not as wild as previously believed, but feral. The species or subspecies, depending on which scientist you ask, has long been the focus of conservation efforts striving to save what was thought to be the last truly wild horse species. Scientists previously thought the Chevalsky's horses were a wild species native to the steppes of Central Asia, but instead they found the horses descended from one of the earliest known groups of domesticated horses called Batai horses found in northern Kazakhstan 5,500 years ago. Around the year 1900, many of these horses were captured by Carl Hagenbeck and placed in zoos. About 12 to 15 of those horses reproduced and formed today's population. In 1902, 28 foals were captured and brought to Europe. These and a small number of additional captives would be distributed among zoos and breeding centers in Europe and in the United States. Many facilities failed in their attempts to captive breeding but a few programs were established. However, by the mid-1930s, inbreeding had caused reduced fertility and the captive population experienced a genetic bottleneck. The surviving captive breeding stock descended from only 11 of the founder captives. The situation was improved when the exchange of breeding animals among facilities increased genetic diversity and there was a consequent improvement in fertility. But the population experienced another genetic bottleneck when many of the horses failed to survive World War II. Only nine of the 31 remaining horses at war's end became ancestors of the subsequent captive population, which did not return to its pre-war size until a decade later. But by 1965, there were more than 130 animals spread among 32 zoos and parks, while genetic diversity reached a much needed boost from a new source. In 1957, a wild caught mare captured as a foal in decade earlier was introduced into the Ukraine captive population. And the spread of her bloodline through the inbred captive groups led to their increased reproductive success. By 1979, there were almost 400 horses in 16 facilities, a number that had grown by the early 1990s to over 1,500. Several populations have now been released into the wild a cooperative venture between the Zoological Society of London and Mongolian scientists has resulted in successful reintroduction of these horses from zoos into their natural habitat in Mongolia. And as of 2011, an estimated total of almost 400 horses existed in three free-ranging populations in the wild. In the wild, Chevalsky's horses live in small, permanent family groups consisting of one adult stallion, one to three mares, 
and their common offspring. Offspring stay in the family group until they are no longer dependent, usually at two or three years old. Bachelor stallions and sometimes older stallions join bachelor groups. Family groups can join together to form a herd that moves together. Chevalsky horses diet consists mostly of vegetation. Their winter diet is very similar to the diet of domestic horses. In the winter time, Chevalsky's horses experience hypodermis. Hypodermis is a condition in which the metabolic rate slows down. They eat their food more slowly than they do during other times of the year. In 2005, the status of the Chevalsky horse was changed from extinct in the wild to endangered. In 2008, they were reclassified as critically endangered. And in 2011, they went from critically endangered to endangered after a reassessment. The Chevalsky horses practically went extinct, but their survival is much better expected now. <laughs>